Goblin-y greetings, Huntleys. It is time for your haunted house test. What's that? All scare b and bs must pass a test of spooks and scares once a century to stay open. And our test is today, as in now? Come on, everyone. Fi needs our help to prove that her house is the spookiest of all. Challenge number one. This is V's creepy closet. What do you think of the three creepy things she could be hiding in there? I think there might be skeletons. Let's open the door and see. Yes, I can see skeletons. What else might be in there? Maybe a funny ghost like Demi. Let's take a peek. Ooh, spectacular. I don't think there would be any flowery dresses in there. It's definitely not V style. But I'm sure we'll find a mummy. Mummy, are you there? <laughs> Hello, mummy. Let's see how we did. Hooray! You've passed challenge number one. <laughs> Maybe we should show you our creepy kitchen. Yes? Here we go. Get ready for challenge number two. What are the three freaky things that we would find in a haunted fridge? Here are your options. This ice cream looks pretty monstrous. <gasps> it's an ice cream! <laughs> Yummy! This soup looks like a witch's cauldron. Definitely freaky enough for our fridge. Mmm, bone soup. <laughs> We're raking this! And is that a blood orange cake? Let's see if it's in there. Yes! That's a delicious looking mac and cheese, but it's not spooky enough for our freaky fridge. Amazing! You've helped V pass challenge number two. Great ghouls! What is that? Challenge number three. Which three spooky pictures might be found in a haunted house? Hmm. Perhaps a picture of V's vampire uncle. <laughs> He's definitely a funny old vampire. What about a witch making a spell? Ooh, nice and spooky. Anything else? Well, I think Kitty Cat is far too cute to be scary. But this Frankenstein model is perfect. Oh, good job. Let's see if we pass this challenge. You did it! Challenge number three of the haunted house is complete. To the garden for challenge number four. Uh, what is that? Can you choose the three freakiest pets that would live in a haunted house? Let's see. Wolfie the werewolf has to be there. <laughs> Good boy, Wolfie! And no haunted house is complete without a monster plant like Penelope. Mm, looking good, Penelope. Aww, that bunny's too cute, so it doesn't belong here. Hmm, but a baby dragon? Now that's cute and spooky. <laughs> yes! You've passed challenge number four. All right, the final portion of your haunted house test. The final challenge. What are the three spooky decorations you would choose for a haunted party? This is exciting. A creepy party needs creepy balloons. Awesome! How about some cool skull lights? Ooh, simply delightful. I'm not sure about the teddy bear bunting, though. Not very scary. Which leaves the cobwebs? A must-have for any haunted house. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if we pass the final challenge. My, 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 I must say, this is the most haunterific house I have ever seen. <laughs> you have passed your haunted house test with flying bats. Yes, we did it. We passed the haunted house test. We chose the perfect things in the creepy closet. In the freaky fridge, chose the spookiest pictures, freakiest pets, and threw the most spectacular party ever! Remember, you're always welcome at Vampirina's Haunted House on Disney Junior! <laughs>